What's going on guys? I'm back at you again. And let's go over this stupid, scripted, boring game. So let's see what the Seahawks do. Probably nothing. So they do play action. I remember this play. They do a screen and this guy reads it all the way. 51 just sits there the whole time. I don't even know why he threw it. Got his guy killed. This guy, this has to be the touchdown. Oh no, nope. they're running it. Look at this, look at how the Seahawks shift their whole D-line. So this guy goes way upfield, can't do anything because he just goes upfield. Now let's see what this guy does. He just moves on over and they make a huge hole in the middle. And what is this linebacker doing? He's supposed to be filling. He's not filling the gap, I don't know what he's doing. He's acting like a cornerback. But he's a linebacker. Oh, now he makes the tackle. 25 yards down the field. Cool. All right, next play. They go play action. Fake left, back right. Where's my end at, though? Where's my end? He's not coming up field, guys, at all. No edge, no chance. He's taking too long. But the problem is, too, what is this linebacker reading? What is he reading? He should be reading Kittle the whole time. Why would you run out there? Just, just think about how stupid this is, guys. This guy is already here. He has this already. That guy is on that. Why would you feel the need to run this way when this guy is wide open? This guy all day would take there, but he turns his head and runs to the flat. And now what is this guy looking at? He's the weak side linebacker. So as a weak side linebacker, there's nothing on your side at all. He shouldn't even be paying this any mind because... That's the fake decoy, so now this guy should be turning his head this way to see what's going on. He keeps facing there, as if that's doing anything. Now he turns away again and leaves Kittle. Literally, both of these linebackers, him and him, they both should be sandwiching this guy. There's no way 85 should be getting that pass. Now look at this terrible angle. And a jogging angle. He's literally jogging, guys. Look at him. He's standing basically straight up. Trying to make a tackle. Kittle has a forward lean, as you can tell. This guy's even leaning. That guy's even leaning. This guy is just standing straight up. Should be taking an angle this way, but he goes this way. Instead of going to where he's going to be, he goes to where he was. Like, it just makes no sense to me. Alright, 85. Yeah, now we can see it from the back. Whoop! North, south. Let's see. Let's see what this guy does. What is he looking at? So he should be reading Kittle the whole time. This guy, look, he takes him. That guy takes him. What is this guy looking at? I just don't get it. You should be looking at Kittle, this guy. That's your read. This is your read. Now he turns away and runs away. As this guy's running up field, you know he can see him. And now he pretends, oh no, I got tricked. And now look how far this weak backer is. This will backer should be at least right here. Converging, being able to make a hit on this. Instead, there's a literally a 16-wheeler size hole going north-south from this guy to the other guy that you can't see. Like there should be never, there should never be that much separation between your linebackers. Your linebackers should be on the same plane within five yards from each other. <laughs> they literally had 20 yards between each other or more. False start, left tackle. They let the dude right on through, and Gino pretends he doesn't see him. Look at the right tackle. But look at the right tackle, guys. Just look at this. Who would block like this? He does so he doesn't block this guy, and then he doesn't block that guy. So what? Like what did he do? Like what? What? Is, what are they paying this guy for if he doesn't block any guys? Watch him. He doesn't block this guy, and then he doesn't block this guy. He turns around and runs away. Like what are we doing? What is that? It's almost like he knew a fumble was gonna happen. It's almost like he knew. Oh, I let someone through. I gotta go see if the fumble happened yet, and then he pounces on it. Like, this, this is bad. I gotta make this its own play. I've never seen anything so mysteriously funky. Like, that was just weird, man. So this is what? 58 seconds through. Whoops. Alright. I can't even believe that. One more time. Turns around. Lets him right through. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Turns his back to the guy that's rushing the second player. It's like, what is going on? Like, who told you to do that? Let's see it again. This is perfect. We get to see it from this view. 
pretends he can't see this guy. Like, dude, you're the right tackle. Why aren't you kicking back and getting depth? Look at him. He doesn't kick back. Doesn't get depth. He just moves with his right foot to the right. Like, I don't know what he's doing, guys. That's not anything you're taught to do. Like, he didn't even do his technique at the very least. Like, all right, you didn't block anyone, but at least do your technique. That's the equivalent of a quarterback not taking the height. Like, if the center snaps the ball and the quarterback just doesn't take the ball and lets the ball go, that's the equivalent of the tackle doing what he just did right there, guys. I just need you to understand how egregious that is. Oh, my gosh. It's just bad play after bad play. That wasn't a touchdown. That was incomplete. I don't even know why they showed that play. Wide open. No one gets the leaker. Oh, is he going to fumble? I knew it. I knew it. I was like, what, is he going to fumble or something? Yep. Imagine that. Let's see what what he what does he do after the second hit? It's almost like he flicks it forward after he gets hit. Like I need to see this one again. Hopefully they show that again from the side. They've been showing some players. Yep, here we go. Let's see what he does here, guys. Let's see if he uh, secures this properly. Nope, he's not really securing the ball, guys. I saw this last night and I was skeptical, but now that I look at it. Look at, why isn't his left arm underneath there? If anything, this hand should be on that ball. And this elbow should be underneath the ball so the ball can't go anywhere. So he's not really protecting the ball, guys. He's pretending like he is. Like, literally, if someone were to punch the ball right here, it's coming right through. He's not really holding it properly at all. Like, so if this guy that's coming hits his elbow, it's coming out. He's not protecting the ball at all. You wouldn't have your elbows out like that. You would have them in high and tight and protected. You would not hold the football like that, guys. I'm sorry. You just wouldn't. Now he separates it even further. Like, he moved his elbow out even further to loosen the grip. It's an easy cause fumble, guys. Anybody could have done that. Anybody with, like, a shred of aggression and shoulders, you're going to make that tackle and make that fumble happen. Look at it. His elbow is out. See, guys? This is perfect. The fact that you can see the ball right here, you should never be able to see the ball on the backside. That means he's not holding it high and tight. Because the moment you can see a football on the inside part of your elbow, you can get a fumble. Right there, guys. Exposed, exposed. But you'll have people defending this garbage. Oh, no, he got hit so hard, man. You don't know what you're talking about. He literally was trying to break the table. Bro, he's not holding the ball high and tight. Look at his elbow. It's out. It's almost like he was waiting for this to happen, guys. Like, just stop, man. Like, just please stop trying to defend nonsense. Like, are you holding a ball like that? If you're gonna, you've got two guys on both sides of you, are you gonna hold the ball out with your elbow out? Or are you gonna tuck your elbows in to not expose yourself and the ball? Like, what are we doing? Like, come on. Put yourself in, your, in, that sh in his shoes. Are you doing what he did there? The answer is no. So now, they just run it right on the middle. Look at, let's see a D tackle. Look how far off the ball he is. Literally, he's at least a yard off. And doesn't even give any resistance. Look at him, he's on his back almost. 97 is probably the fattest guy, biggest guy on their defense. Nose guard, look at him. Gets dominated. By one guy. Doesn't even show resistance. And then what does 93 do? The second fattest guy. This fatso does what? Does nothing. Gets dominated. Turns his shoulders. Gets put on his knees. Oh, please. Are we going to get a better view of this? Yeah, we know. You're so mad and upset. Look at him smiling. Bro, he's smiling, guys. Oh, my God. He is literally smiling. This guy knows what's up, man. He knows it's just fake. Look at him. He's been smiling the whole time. Look at him. He's trying not to laugh, guys. Like, I feel like laughing because he's trying not to. Look at him. Does that look like a face of someone that's pissed off that he fumbled the game and the ball? Does it? Look at him. He's still smiling. It's like, he can't even pretend to be mad at this point. He cannot. Look at him. Look at him. Guys, look at him. He's smiling, guys. Right off of this fumble. Fresh out of jail. Fresh off of this fumble. He is smiling. 
So we gotta take a video of this, cause that is, it's not rare you see a player flat out smile after fumbling egregiously. You just don't. Yeah, I know, come on bro, come on. All right, now this is curvy. Let's see this guy, look at his non-resistance. Let's see him backpedal, you see him backpedaling? He's not resisting this guy, that guy's not bigger and stronger than him, he's just backpedaling. Now let's see the fatso next to him. Look, why do you have your leg lifted off of the ground? See, he's not resisting either. So both of your two fatsos in the middle are not resisting. This guy and this guy, you can see their legs, guys. They're not resisting at all. So what's going to happen? This guy lifts his head, leg off the ground, so you're going to get pushed back. This guy backpedals, so you're going to get pushed back. So you're going to score right in the middle right here because those two guys, just watch them. If you don't believe me, just watch them. And then look at 56. Why is he not coming in? quicker he pretends to get nudged look at him it's just it's not real football guys you don't play football like that no resistance like come on now let's see this terrible tackle dives at nothing why would you even attempt that and why even attempt that jesus all right now all start right tackle, but at least he kicked back, unlike the dude on the other team, just sitting there. Yeah, um, no. So what the hell happens here? Oh, I see what happens. You got, you got two guys in the same zone. See? You got this guy running... Bro, there's literally four guys and five guys. One, two, three, four, five guys in the same zone, guys. Why do we need five flat players? Why do we need five flat players? That's all I want to know. Why is there not a cornerback? Why is this guy so shallow? Why are there so many green shirts so shallow? It doesn't make sense. This isn't a type of defense anyone would do. Now look at this, wide open. Like, what? Like, anyone that plays football, what coverage is this? Like, please tell me. Like, what coverage would you call this? Because I don't know. I don't know what coverage to call this. This isn't cover three. This isn't cover two. Because that's your middle linebacker. What is going on? What type of a coverage is this? This is just do whatever you want and let everyone get open. That's all it is. That's all this is. Now, let's look at this tackle attempt. Or lack thereof. Right through. Puts his head down arm bars and falls on his face we see it all the time there's no way that you couldn't have made this tackle he's not even putting a move on you all he does is slow down and step inside that's it so why couldn't you make that and then this guy can't really 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 bro really why is he running so fast by him why why isn't he breaking down right now you see him breaking down why aren't you breaking down he should be breaking down as he does so you don't overrun him you slow down here and then make a tackle on his hip. But no, he keeps running with the same momentum he had the whole time. And that's what happens. Touchdown. Yeah, let's see it from the behind, north-south view. You're going to see two guys. Why do you have two guys in the flats? Like, what is going on that you don't cover their best player? This is their best player. So one of these two guys, I would say this guy needs to take him. See, that guy... Hold on, let me see something. It's hard to see. Oh, Kittle, 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 Kittle. There he is. So let's watch Kittle. He free releases. Nope, he gets a little jam. So this guy's on him, guys. He had a guy on him, riding him, and he let him go. So let's see this again. See, this guy is on him. He's jamming him, right? This guy right here, he is jamming him, and then he just lets him go. So whoever this is, is it's this guy's fault. Unless they're in cover three, and this corner is supposed to be back there. So these are the two scenarios, guys. They're in a zone, and this guy rode him, and then played a zone, and then this guy just came up for no reason. Or it's man coverage. This guy covered him and just let him go. Either way, it's a big F up. Because you have a middle safety. you got a corner there. Let me just see what this safety does. This will tell me a little bit more. I feel like they were in a cover three, guys, and then the corner just did his own thing. See, there's the corner right there. Where's he going? So it's the, really the corner, too. Just look, look at this. This is your corner, guys. Look at where he goes. You're supposed to be back deep covering the middle. Or, excuse me, the third over here. You're supposed to be covering the deep third. He runs inside. Like, what is he doing? There's already a guy there. There's your middle backer. This guy should be in the deep third waiting for this throw. Instead, he's in the middle. And then, let's talk about this. These two guys running to the flat. Like, you wouldn't have two guys running to the flat. 
So you'd have this corner literally sitting back here waiting and making a play on this. And then one of these two guys sinking underneath. It just doesn't make sense to me how you botch something so bad. Like, I'm really just, like, flabbergasted. Look at him. He's jamming him. You see him? He's jamming him and just lets him go. So that tells me it's a zone. Because he jams, he jams, and then lets go. And then there's your corner right there. Number 21 or 22. I can't tell. You're going to see him run through the screen. Right there. There's your corner. Running to the middle of the field when he should have been in his third. There's already a safety in the middle and a middle linebacker. So he runs through a zone that's already covered. Kittle runs a corner into his zone wide open. 51's thinking the corner's going to be there. And then no one. That's it. So stupid. Yeah, we can take a look at this terrible attempt. It looks even worse right there. When you see it from this angle, it's even worse. It makes you realize that he was not trying to make this tackle whatsoever. Look at this. Look at this, bro. Puts his head down, arm bar. Like, he wasn't even attempting this. And then the overrun. Like, get out of here, bro. Who's believing that? I know I'm not. Neither of these tackles are doing their technique. He doesn't kick back, guys. He's shuffling. What do I tell you? Once you shuffle, you lose. Especially against one of the best pass rushers in the league. Now, you can't shuffle. You got to back pedal and kick back. That's what you got to do. Otherwise, you lose. And he knows that. That's a day oneer. That's something you learn on day one. Did this guy get blocked before the ball got there? I just want to see something. For some reason, yeah, that, that's illegal, guys. You see how Kittle blocked this guy before the ball arrived? They should have called pass interference on the offense. Because you can't block when the ball's in the air on a pass play, guys. So that's a blown call right there. The defender could have made a play on him, maybe not the ball, but that's the NFL for you. All right, next play. Yeah, this has just been all bad. They're, they're linemen, guys. Look at them. See the right tackle again. It's been all bad. He does it again, guys. He shuffles instead of kicking back. Does them no favors. And then look at the guard. Guard just lets the guy right through. Just lets him right through. And then the tackles guy finally gets through because he doesn't do his technique properly. Gino just got killed this game, man. Ball start, left tackle, no call. Look how much better they block. It's like Purdy has all day to throw back there. For real, though. He literally has all day long. How did this slant even get in there? I need to see this real quick. 57, make the play. Nope, he comes late. I just wanted to see if he actually drove on that. There's my edge player. What's he do? Oh, he took the inside route. That's never good. No edge, no chance. Two wide open guys in the same zone. I don't understand. Seattle is turning everyone loose. There they are, and then they let them through. But see number 10? Right there, guys. So let me show you how this happens. So right there, this guy puts hands on him. So this guy should be running with him. And then number 10... Should be running with them. Those, so this guy and that guy should be running with those two guys that are open. Now look at them. Wide open because two guys decided to do their own thing. How about that? Does that seem legible to you? It doesn't to me. And then let's see Quandre with another terrible angle. This has got to be his fourth terrible angle of the game. But he makes a tackle somehow, somewhere. And maybe a couple more plays. What the hell just happened here? Where's my uh, edge player? There he is. Goes way too far upfield and there's no D tackle. These two guys, where do they go? It's way too far inside. Huge hole right here. But he actually took it more inside than I thought. Because these two guys don't fill properly. That's all that is, guys. It's just not playing your gap. Guys just doing whatever they want. Is this Quandre Diggs with another missed tackle? Nah, it's someone else this time. Terrible, man. This is just terrible. This guy's about to get caught, isn't he? Yep. Once he puts the shoulder down, still don't get in. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.